The audience here at the National Exhibition Center is waiting to see a display by the American BMX star, Bob Haro. In all my years in cycling, I've never seen a cyclist in this country as popular as this man. Even if you've never heard of him before, it's quite likely you've already seen him, as he was leader of the BMX stunt team in the film E.T. Every young rider in the hall must have wished they could do the same. Okay, Bob, you want to give us the way to go, any music? Okay, there it goes. Oh, now, on the stage. Yeah, that one. I got the opportunity to talk to Bob while he was practicing. Bob, I think you call that a rollback 360, don't you? It's a 720. That was a 720, no, now that's 720. That's a freestyle stunt, and I think, are we right in calling these stunts on BMX machines? Uh, you can still call it stunts, but more or less it's uh, kind of originating to freestyle now. And it's nothing to do really with the motor, that's the circuit racing, mm -hmm. because this is a development from it, isn't it? This is a direct spin-off of bicycle motocross. It's just a, a different application. It's just freestyle is more like freeform riding. Now, it looks very simple when you can do it. How much training? It's an awful lot. That's the key, is trying to make it look simple. It's just a lot of practice and things like that. Now, far from these stunts, I've seen you go up in the sky and turn around. Mm -hmm. How on earth do you get the strength and the courage to go so high and make that first move? Uh, basically, it's just it's just like anything. You, you walk before you run. You just try it slowly. You just keep working your way up. And uh, progressively, you get your courage up, and you just keep trying to go higher and higher. Right. Now, are you a professional, or would you still call yourself an amateur? No, I am a professional. It's all your life now? I've been doing this an awful long time. Actually, the freestyle thing is uh, something that I started. Uh, a friend and I started about in 1973, when the skateboard thing was happening, we started riding our bicycles in skate parks. You, were you a skateboard star as well? No, I, I did it as fun, but I was, I was okay. I could do it. That's about it. Do you see this as going on to be a big sport? Or is it going to be a flash in the pan like no. skateboarding was in Britain? No, it's actually been going on 10 years in the U.S. and it's, it's just growing. It's been a slow, gradual pace uphill. It hasn't been like the skateboarding boom where it just boomed up and then dropped just as fast as it came. And what about the accident aspect? I see you're well dressed up here. You're almost like an American footballer. Um, well, I think that's, that you know, helps out your uh, confidence too. Is Just wearing the right gear, it prevents injuries. You can take a fall and not get hurt. That's part of the deal. Actually, it's not really that dangerous in some sort of What about yourself? Any serious mm -hmm. injuries so far? Uh, skinned elbows and knees, and uh, I did hurt myself once. I dislocated my shoulder, but that was just... I had been up all night. We arrived to do a show, and I was just tired. I rode when I was tired. I wasn't awake. Right, and you've got to be really warmed up. True. It's important. True. Now, let's have a look at your bike, Bob. It looks to me as though it is a little bit special to the oh. others we've been seeing. It is, is a it? bit different. This one was made 
floor myself, I did a little bit, I did most of the design work on it. It's just made a bit more heavy duty, you know, to handle the stresses of, of the freestyle riding. And um, basically that's some of the things that we've done to it. It's just made it a little more heavy duty. So really, it's not a lot different to what the youngsters are riding here, no. except it's more sort of finessed. That's it, exactly. Yeah. It just, it's to my liking. It's just how I set it up, how I like it. Right. It's not ultra light, but it does work well for me. Well, I think we've seen that, Bob. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.